Now in this Sevilly zone this morning, a 14 year old San Diego student is a finalist to win America's top young scientist. I'm so curious what she's come up with in this Innovate 8 report. Jeff introduces us to the inventor of a special pair of headphones and shows us how the scientific world is listening. Two San Diego sisters are proving to the world that scientific brilliance runs in the family. Every year, 3M and Discovery Education search the country for America's top young scientist. I was really surprised. 14-year-old Leanne Fan will be a freshman at Westview High. What you see here isn't just a pair of headphones. These could potentially prevent up to 60% of hearing loss. Leanne invented low-cost headphones that so use machine learning using a Google machine learning software. and blue light therapy to detect and treat mid-air infections in children. Has anyone ever thought of this before? Oh no, this is completely new, the idea of using headphones to detect and treat mid-ear infections. Could this idea end up making you millions of dollars? You know, that's um, something I'm really hoping will happen. Leanne knew that a sick child might not want to wear this device if they weren't feeling well, so she devised a way for the children to receive treatment while listening to their favorite music. I'm really proud of her. <laughs> Leanne's big sister, Cara, Hi, my name is Cara Fan. Created nanoparticle liquid bandages to replace the use of antibiotics. America's 2019 top young scientist. And look what she did three years ago. Cara Fan. I not only want to do what my sister did, I want to go above and beyond. 60% of hearing loss. For about $200. This is the USB camera that connects to your computer and this is what detects your ear infection. One set of headphones could help thousands of children. Healthcare should be um, available to everyone because it's our health. It's like a matter of life and death. What would you do with $25,000? Ooh. So first I would put the money to patenting my headphones and then after that I would probably go to some sushi, and then I would save the rest for my college. Leanne hopes to attend Stanford and continue helping children around the world. It doesn't have to be thousands and thousands, but if I could just change the lives of some people, then that would make me very happy. For Innovate 8, Jeff Sebel, CBS 8.